Welcome back everyone. Blues music originated down in the deep south. The slow, rich voices of soul carry many triumphs and often defeat. Now one Columbus woman is retelling those stories with art. Our Stephanie Poole joins us in the studio with more about the process. Stephanie. A cast of blues. The artist says she wants to connect people old and young to the history of famous blues singers throughout Mississippi. And her journey to make it all happen is an inspiration. Take a look. All artists have their own perspective. For Sharon McConnell Dickerson, it's all about connecting to what you're creating. Over 60 faces of famous Mississippi blues musicians hang in the Columbus Arts Council. I wanted to preserve their images and present their stories for people to learn about them and people to always remember and see their image in life. A cast of blues capturing the tiniest details and showing history behind the mask. Bobby Blue Bland, R.L. Burnside, Pine Top Perkins, uh, James Cotton, lots of big names. It involves um, using a specialized molding material, which is alginate or a skin safe silicone and layers of other materials uh, applied directly onto the skin of the subject covering the entire face. Sharing her work with an audience is a unique experience. Dickerson is a self-taught blind artist. She encourages others to feel her artwork. I want them to feel what I felt while I was creating them. The project took nearly 20 years to complete, starting in the early 2000s. But if you look just across the room at a certain angle, you might catch a glance at yourself in the second exhibit, Broken. I was used to seeing a very dark silhouette of myself and that was gone that day and I became very sad and then I was mad, wanted to break the mirror, couldn't do that so I broke it with my mind and pieced them together in that empty frame and what was left was kind of like a jagged puzzle piled on top, didn't make sense but I imagined what I might look like now in the mirror. The three-dimensional light creation show images of dogs, flowers, and hearts. It was a task Dickerson didn't complete alone. And Sharon and I muse a lot about, you know, I might have an idea or she has an idea and we just talk. And it evolves during the process. Terry Massey has collaborated alongside Dickerson. The duo share ideas, smash beer bottles, car windshields, even shred Italian glass to get the perfect piece. Of course, we went through a few band-aids. Um, we started working with gloves. We just, we couldn't do it really without touching the glass. So we had to learn how to handle it, you know, carefully. And hopefully community members will continue to interact with a cast of blues. Uh, you can touch it, you can feel it, you can listen to it, you can hear it. Uh, a big history lesson for the city of Columbus. And a cast of blues exhibit will be open tomorrow at the Columbus Arts Council. Also, Terry Massey says her project Save Our Shelter is currently ongoing. You can contact her on her Facebook page for more information.